Hi, and welcome to the Civil Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. Today, I'm in the Media Archaeology Lab, and I want to talk about the Yamaha CX-5M Music Synthesizer. So, let's get started. Yamaha first released the CX-5M Music Computer in 1984. The system uses a Z80A processor, runs MSX Basic, and has support for MIDI input and output. At the Media Archaeology Lab, we're fortunate to have a complete working system, including the computer, keyboard, disk drive, printer, and several cartridges. I brought my daughter along on a recent Friday morning, and we had some fun playing around with the Yamaha. In addition to the CX-5M music computer and the music keyboard, the Yamaha also could be equipped with a dot matrix printer as well as a three and a half inch floppy disk drive. The CX-5M actually has two inputs for cartridges. There's one in the back, which requires you to use this adapter that they provided, or you could also use the one at the top. I'm not sure what exactly happens if you plug two cartridges in at the same time. Maybe somebody who knows more about it could answer that in the comments. But this also allowed them to plug in their floppy disk drive because they didn't actually have a dedicated port on the back of the computer. Instead, they have this floppy disk interface cable, which is really just a cartridge that would just plug into the back. The dot matrix printer lets you print out transcriptions of your compositions. Finally, the computer came with a FM modulator, which took the video and audio from the computer and translated it into something that just a regular television set could use. So you didn't even need to have a separate audio system. You could just get the audio and the video straight from your television. On the side of the computer, we have outputs for audio as well as MIDI output and input, as well as the cable that connects to the keyboard. If we look in the back of the computer, we have the power cable, the output to the monitor, which also carries the audio. We have a cassette input here. And then finally, we have our printer connection as well as the slot for cartridges. The bottom of the computer indicates that this is model number CX-5MU, serial number 5460. And one interesting feature is all of the connectors on the side for MIDI as well as the sound output are attached to this removable cartridge, presumably so Yamaha could extend the capabilities and not need to create a brand new system. I forgot to mention that the computer also has two joystick ports on the side of it, and these are labeled joystick, but as you can see, Yamaha also made a two-button mouse that you could plug in and use with some of the software. Here we've popped the lid on the Yamaha computer. You can see over on the right, the keyboard just comes off as one solid unit here and just lifts right out. And that's just connected to the motherboard with a couple of flat ribbon cables. Then there's a metal shield that just comes up off of the main motherboard, which you can see right here. It's actually a fairly straightforward and simple computer. You've got the power supply circuitry over on the left. Here's the clock mechanism right here to drive the computer's clock. We've got the Z80 processor right over here, made by Sharp. And then finally we have a custom Yamaha chip here and here, as well as all of the other supporting circuitry and the RAM chips. Other things to note, we've got joystick ports over here, so there's two of those. And then finally, we've got that other unit over here, which is all the inputs and outputs for the MIDI, which, like I said before, is removable. When you first turn the computer on, it boots into MSX Basic, which was developed by Microsoft and first came out in 1983. From there, you type Call Music to start the Yamaha Music Program. Here you can activate voices and different instruments. Let's listen to my daughter now as she plays a song and we'll change the instruments as she's playing.
Yamaha tried to sell the CX-5M into various markets, including Japan, Europe, and the United States. Unfortunately, the sales never really picked up, and by the end of 1985, they had stopped production. One side note, Yamaha was left with a lot of unused sound chips, and they had great success selling these to arcade game manufacturers, most notably to Sega for their System 16. If you're interested in getting a CX-5M, you can still find them on eBay for reasonable prices. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Yamaha CX-5M. Thanks to my daughter for playing some of the music in the video. If you'd like more information, I'll have some links in the show notes. Also, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon subscribers who make all of these videos possible. If you'd like to become a supporter, I'll have a link in the show notes for that as well. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for my YouTube channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Never gave me a chance to switch it. Oh, that's so <laughs> <laughs>